First year is not an easy way to be here, but I'm very grateful that I'm here and I'm very happy that we're going to celebrate our 30th year. Very excited about it. Uh, I have been doing uh, Ethiopian handwoven fabric and modern design for 30 years and on our way to celebrate 30 years. Uh, for me, it means a lot because there is a lot of uh, things behind. Uh, in good ways and also in bad ways but when I say bad ways is not anything bad but you know sometimes in life there are a lot of up and downs but winning that and being here today uh, it really makes me very much proud. Uh, there is a long way uh, to celebrate 30 years and I believe uh, I don't reach alone to be or to celebrate 30 years. Uh, my weavers, my employees, my customers, everybody's behind. But uh, in this industry, it's not easy to reach 30 years, even though we have a lot of ups and downs, but uh, we have never closed our store. Even during the pandemic, uh, we really managed to sustain, even though it was very difficult time. I would say in that 30 years, the pandemic was one of the worst time. So, I'm happy that I'm here today to celebrate with all my customers, with my people, whoever was behind uh, to make me reach where I am today. Commitment is one of the most important thing. And if you love what you do, I think also that's the bottom line because I really love to be a designer, to be a creator, to be a, a tailor or anything related with fashion. I'm really passionate about my work. And I think that uh, is one of the main things that lead me to be, uh, to celebrate my 30th year. So if you're passionate about what you do, I think you can really, there is no boundaries for that. The Made in Ethiopia, especially the hand weaving, the Ethiopian hand weaving, the authentic Ethiopian hand weaving is very crucial because I start my work with that because believing and making sure uh, to show that beautiful heritage to the world. So I think as an African, I think a lot of designers from the world, they look uh, into us now. So we should have to be strong enough to show out that and make uh, to know the world that we have the most beautiful fabrics because in general, all Africa, I can say we have really unique pieces when it comes to a fashion or to, especially to fabrics, we have really something very beautiful. And when I see um, anybody can use it and do something about it, we should have to be the one to love and respect also that. So I would say to all my fellow African designers or whoever it is, to make Made in Africa, for in my case, Made in Ethiopia, our priority. In that case, we can make a difference in the fashion world. For me, I think I celebrate only is not about the way we, with the way we did uh, the fashion in this the last 30 years. For me, I think I'm celebrating also the Ethiopian handwoven fabric and the people who does that. Because uh, if the weavers or the, hand, the artisans behind, they were not there, I wouldn't be here. Because I really admire and appreciate what they were doing and I start whatever creation I want to add on it, I just add a spice on it. So I'm celebrating also all the artisans when it comes to hand weaving, because they are the master uh, weavers for me that they make me to be who I am today. When we plan this, uh, uh, when we start doing this, I think uh, we started it with my friend Antoine, and. Uh, 
we started thinking to make something very unique and different. It's not only about uh, celebrating our uh, 30th anniversary, it's also adding some spice on how we can make different show or the fashion show has to have a different component. My job um, was to create something different. Um, so when Gannett asked me to do this, to, to produce the show, I, I was excited, of course. She's a good friend of mine, and, and um, um, with my background in production, I was very happy to come on board as a producer. Um, but I knew that I had to produce something that uh, was just not a show, but a show that people would uh, always remember a show that uh, is spectacular, something that's bold and, and, and that people will always um, say, wow, that was a wonderful show. And I decided, why not create something that merges her experience in Italy and Ethiopia and fashion? So I came up with the idea, um, having an orchestra and an opera singer, uh, and bring that together to blend fashion art and culture. And I remember Gannett asking me my concept and I told her, we'll have an opera singer, we'll have an orchestra. And I remember her looking over her glasses and saying, Antoine, my dear, you are crazy. And that craziness has brought us to this day. Um, so in fact, instead of us having one opera singer, we have three, which are um, uh, the Appassionate, which is a three-o uh, opera singer group um, that's into classical crossover um, opera. And we also decided to blend um, the orchestra with Ethiopian musicians and also musicians from Italy. And thanks with the help of the Italian Embassy and the Italian Culture Institute here in Addis, um, we are able to uh, make it uh, that dream in reality. That crazy dream has now become a reality for her uh, anniversary show and I'm sure it will be the best show ever, not only in Ethiopia but across Africa. As we are blending um, different elements together, um, we have musicians in Italy and also in, in, here in Ethiopia. And uh, because we're not here at the same time, we had to provide the music sheets to the musicians here in Ethiopia for them to, to start rehearsing. Um, knowing that when the Italian group comes, they will rehearse for the first time. And so that uh, will be uh, an interesting day to see that happens. But I know with the professionalism from the Ethiopian side and Italy, we'll have a beautiful um, orchestra that will come together to perform beautiful music for a beautiful fashion show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gannett Kabede's 30th anniversary celebration in collaboration with the Embassy of Italy and the Italian Cultural Institute in Addis Ababa, <laughs> presented by Ethiopian Airlines. Kiburatna Kiburan Ngudochachin, Ye Gannett Kabeden Selasanya Amet Lamakber Azis Letagenyachu, Bet Amnamesagnalen. 
ይህ ዝግጅት የተዘጋጀው በጣሊያን ኤምባሲና በጣሊያን ካልቸራል ኢንስቲትዩት አዲስ አበባ ትብብር ነው የቀረበላችሁም በኢትዮጵያ አየር መንገድ ነው Ladies and gentlemen please welcome to the stage Lia Kabada ክብራትና ክብራን እንግዶቻችን አባካቹ Lia Kabadan ወደ መድረክ ጋብዙልኝ ባማርኛም እንግሊዘኛ አይ ኖት ሹር ቡት እንኳን አብራቹ እንኳን አንዌይ ጉድ ኢቭኒንግ ታፋኝ ሶሪ አይ ሪሊ ሃፒ ቱ ቢ ሂር አይ ስፔን አ ሎንግ ታይም ሲንስ ኦብቪስሊ አይ አቭ ቢን ኦን ዘ ስቴጅ ኢን ኢትዮጵያ አይ ቲንክ ዋን ኦፍ ዘ ፍርስት ወመን ሁ ዲድ ዳት ቱ ሚ ዋዝ ኦብቪስሊ ገነት አንድ አይ ጀስት ሪላይዝ ሀር ኔም ኢዝ አልሶ ካበዳ ቡት ዌር አክቹሊ ኖት ሪሌትድ ቡት ዊ ኩድ አቭ ቢን ሪሌትድ ቢካዝ She's always been such an incredible woman in, in my life. Uh, I think when I started I was maybe 15 years old. Um I had parents who were very strict and they didn't really want me to go and uh, become a model. Uh modeling used to be seen as something very different than it is today. Uh and Gennett's responsibility used to be to uh come and ask my mom for permission so I could go and do her shows. and that was the only way i could go out and do um the shows in addis so for that i want to say thank you <laughs> to ganet who's on the phone at the moment <laughs> um she uh it was amazing because she's one of the women who i remember um when we first walked her shows she started supporting the artisans and uh she kind of looked at the future and thought about how we could um change the way artisans were making our clothes and giving it a a spin and um it's nice to know that today we're all here because of that that moment um i have such wonderful memories uh of my modeling days with her uh her home used to be our headquarters we loved going to her house uh to do all the practices cuz we used to do months and months of practice i don't know what we were practicing but uh we used to just love and go because we all used to just hang out at her house and i was the youngest so i think she took care of me a lot and um she used to make me a shuro which was my favorite meal she still makes the best shuro <laughs> um it's nice to see lina who's here too who used to model with me and ganet it's nice to uh find the old gang back Um who else did I see today? Uh I also saw Anna Getana. It's nice to see her too. I remember her actually uh at one of the um I don't know when we were young. She came to visit from Paris or something. Uh and she talked to us and we were the young uh model aspiring models who looked up to her. And uh, I remember her grace and uh how wonderful she was. Um so Thank you Anna Getana also for that moment. Uh and that's it. I just want to say thank you to Ganet and I want to congratulate her on 30 years of this. I know it's not easy. Uh it's not an easy industry and uh it's nice to see her still here. And I love you Ganet. Thank you. And uh thank you for having me. Okay. Good night. Ladies and gentlemen please welcome to the stage a passionate